Hey there, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. And today, for your approval, I bring you a quick fly-by, fly-through, whatever you want to call it, of the Richmond International Raceway. Uh, this is 6.30 on a Saturday morning, so uh, really um, no danger of anybody being in this thing. So anybody wants to uh, yell at me on the comments, um, hopefully I've uh, <laughs> taken care of that. But as you can see, I flew into this thing, and uh, the, my first impression of this was, um, wow, this is big, which uh, Lord knows I've heard that a few times in my life. Be that as it may, uh, you know, it, it's a gigantic thing, and I, I got to say, folks, I'm not really a race car fan, or a NASCAR fan in this case, um, but this place holds 70,000 people, which to me is a lot of people, yeah. So uh, I, I was impressed by that. Um, one of the other things I, I found out in the whole research of this is this is this track is owned by a conglomerate that basically owns a bunch of other tracks too. So uh, this is just one of I think twelve that this company owns. So it's kind of interesting that they've uh, almost corporatized the I guess the venues in which this thing is taken care of. So. Uh, that, that to me was an interesting little fact. Maybe you diehard NASCAR fans would, uh, have a, have a better, uh, uh, better informed than I am about such things. But uh, be that as it may, uh, I found it interesting too, these, uh, nosebleed section up here, or maybe this might be the diet plan because, uh, anybody going to be sitting there is going to be, uh, losing some weight. Uh, it might be even mandatory to sit there if you're uh, above 350 pounds. Of course, they'd have a hard time getting somebody that uh, killed over at 350 pounds out of there. So maybe that's probably not the best idea. But I, I'm curious, are these the cheap seats? Cheap seats? Are these like the premium deals? Because uh, usually if it involves spectating and exercise um that's that's not something i really want to pay a whole lot for and look folks i'm uh the drone is sitting here at about uh i think 220 feet so it, it ain't like uh this is a small climb here and that little building right there is i'll get a better view here in a second is your facility so to speak so uh assuming you've got a pee you might just sweat it out by the time you get there. So you won't have to pee. Maybe that's what they were going for. But that is a, uh, an impressive grandstand nonetheless. Uh, here's a bigger, wider, obvious view of the track. This is a, another thing I learned with my little research. A D-shaped track. I didn't even know they came in D-shaped. What other, uh, obviously not a cursive D. But that would be interesting. I don't know. It depends on how you write it. But, uh, yeah, so it, they changed it from an oval, I think, uh, way back in the day to a D formation. Which, like I said, D? What other letters are we talking about here? Here's a little uh, America for you. A little view of the outside of the stadium and the wider uh, view of the whole facility. Uh, I know this is a thousand acre facility they do lots of other things on here and uh, one of the worst events i've ever been to was a comic-con that they actually held at one of the um, the buildings out back actually uh if you this is actually the line it, it goes over there but here nor there if you've made it this far in the video you don't care if i'm talking about a crappy comic-con but it was pretty crappy i was expecting uh you know some chicks and some hot outfits and uh no not not even close so here we go, folks. Uh, this is the uh, a scary shot because I was uh, coming down on the uh, start finish line here. My signal cut out, and I couldn't see uh, the stupid thing. Luckily, it's got all those safeties. But this is the uh, ending shot here, folks. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.